This week, the IFA Kayak Tour, presented by Hobie, makes its final stop of the season in Grand Isle, Louisiana. The marshlands and bayous of southern Louisiana offer one of the premier inshore fisheries in the country. And we've got the top kayak anglers on the circuit on hand to battle it out for the 2018 championship. There's a lot on the line, and the action starts right now. The Inshore Fishing Association and Cabela's present the oldest, largest, and most prestigious redfish tournament series in the nation. The IFA Redfish Tour, presented by Cabela's. Welcome to Grand Isle, Louisiana, in Bridgeside Marina. This is day one of the 2018 IFA Kayak Tour Championship, presented by Hobie. We came out yesterday, it's pretty windy. The conditions have been really tough pre-fishing. We're hoping it's gonna be a little bit calmer today and we can get on some fish early and then consider making a move to look for maybe some bigger fish later in the day. We've got 38 anglers qualified to fish this weekend. This is a two day catch, photo and release event, working on length instead of weight. Anglers are looking for their best trout and redfish on each day. For the champions, there's a Hobie Pro Angler 14 up for grabs. All right, well, we're getting ready for the uh, IFA Kayak Championship. We're down in Grand Isle, Louisiana, um, 19th and 20th of October. The, the winds are have picked up for the guys, but uh, they're definitely gonna catch them right out here behind me in the pass, probably gonna be where the bull reds come from. And then uh, they gotta catch a trout also. So it's uh, gonna be a challenge tomorrow, but the fishing's great down here in Grand Isle. We're at one of the premier place, places to fish for redfish and trout. So I know the guys are gonna have a great time. When you get to Grand Isle, you're pretty close to the end of the road. Looking south, you've got the Gulf of Mexico. And on the inside of this barrier island are hundreds of square miles of rich marshland, offering some of the best inshore fishing opportunities in the world. And what makes it special is you've got three passes, uh, which give you the opportunity to catch giant bull reds, um, as long as you know how to fish them and play it safe. And you have trout opportunities that are close. So there sometimes can be less traveling um, involved between the trout and the redfish. So it's a world-class fishery down here. I mean, one thing that's so awesome about this fishery, I mean, you see the wind's been howling. It's going to be howling all weekend. It's about Saturday, and people still crush the fish today. You know, they may not, they, you may even see some big fish, but uh, everybody still catches a lot of fish. You know, water's dirty, windy, high, it doesn't matter. We have so many fish down here, and that's why people travel from all over the world to come down here and fish it. Getting right into day one championship coverage, we'll start things off with South Carolina's Mike Catchman. What kind of kayak do you use? I'm in a, a Hobie Pro Angler 12, and I'm grateful to have it because it gets me where I need to be, and I can hold in that wind like yesterday. It was so tough, I can't imagine being in a regular paddle kayak and trying to fight that wind and find a few places where I could actually make some casts. So the Hobie's a, a critical piece of equipment when it comes to fishing these tournaments or kayak fishing in general, as far as I'm concerned. Working up shallow for the early morning trout fight, Mike stumbled across to Small Red. Not a great fish, but it's a start. After documenting his catch, the fish was released and both were on their way. Hey, I didn't get skunked. <laughs> Leaving the marsh, we'll head out to deeper water and check in with Spring Hill, Florida's Derek Engel. Can't tell if this is a trout or a redfish, or honestly, almost feels like a catfish. It's hard to tell. I think it's a catfish. Um, no, it doesn't look like a catfish. It looks like a stud trout. No, it's a little redfish. Almost, almost looked like a giant trout there for a second, but it's actually a pretty nice slot redfish. Maybe a slight overslot, actually. Um, no, it looks like a top slot redfish, maybe a 25 to 27. Got my hopes up there for a minute. Almost when it first showed up, looked like it was a nice 25 inch trout. That's a good 27 or so. It's what I need next weekend in the uh, in the boat side.
Hey, he might even be 27, 28. Unfortunately, he's not what I'm looking for at the current moment, but still a beautiful fish. Looks like he's probably a, he's about 26 or so. Not a bad little fish. We're seeing some fish caught, though the bite seems a bit slow this morning, but this is Southern Louisiana and things are bound to change. Stay with us coming up. We'll get back up for more championship coverage from the 2018 IFA Kayak Tour Championship presented by Hobie. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. At Ranger, our dedication to real quality and craftsmanship runs deep. You'll see the rewards in every saltwater model we build. From our commitment to constant research and innovation, to the design and construction of our own components, we're focused on solid confidence and lasting peace of mind. The Ranger Saltwater Series. It's a legacy of leadership engineered for optimum performance, while consistently reinforcing the ultimate ownership experience. Learn more at rangerboats.com. The IFA Redfish Tour is presented to you by Bass Pro and Cabela's. The adventure starts here. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Mercury Outboards, go boldly. Welcome back to Grand Isle, Louisiana and day one of the 2018 IFA Kayak Tour Championship presented by Hobie. Hobie revolutionized the sport of kayak fishing with the Mirage Drive hands-free propulsion system built into a kayak stable enough to stand on. Hobie's a, grand, a fantastic sponsor for us. Uh, the guys, a lot of the guys fish out of Hobie, a lot of them fish out of different things, but Hobie definitely helps these kayakers out here. They send us a lot of uh, product over the year to give out to them and uh, just been a great sponsor for us for sure. Getting back into tournament coverage, anglers had a rough go this morning, but as day one warmed, so did the bite. And by mid-morning, most of the field was out on deep water, chasing big schools of bull reds. Had a little trouble this morning. My first spot didn't get nothing. I was looking for a trout. I went to my safety plan, um, where I was pretty sure I could get at least 40 inches between a slot trout and a slot redfish. Ended up with about 45. Um, came out here, got lucky, first cast hooked up and lost it, and then my fifth cast I just landed a, a 40 bull. So uh, I'm going to go back out, see maybe if I can get a 42, 43, or if any of my buddies need a little help or something, and try to get another one. Hopefully repeat it tomorrow. Back at Bridgeside Marina in Grand Isle, the competitors gathered as tournament officials collected data and went to work verifying catches. Uh, so the first thing that we look at when they bring us their photos in and they either have it on their camera and they bring us a card or they have it on their phones is they have to have a put in picture the morning of it. It's got to have the kayak, the ruler, and it has to have the token that we gave them the night before. And there it is right there. So they're good. he's good on the put in picture and then we just go through and scroll. We want a 39 and a half inch redfish so you can see. He's over an eight. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say he's 39 and 5 Yeah, that's right. Because he's almost, he's almost three quarters. See, so he asked for 39.65. He asked for 39.5 inches, but if we see that it's more, we'll add it to it. And also, if we see if it's less, then we call, then we them, call in, them in. And then we say, okay, this is what we're looking at. Do you agree with it? And then we change it on our form here, make sure that they're okay with it. With changing it because and the pictures tell the story but we have to make sure that they agree with it. Once the data was verified and logged, tournament director Keith Green posted the day one standings and it was Aaron Clay on top with 61.25 inches. Here's a quick look at the rest of the top 10 at the end of day one. It was rough, you know, it was uh, 
typical Louisiana tournament weather, you know, wind blowing, rough water, dirty water, and, you know, as the day progressed, it just got better. What's your plan for tomorrow? I'm going to go for a trout first in the morning. I'm going to go try to find a decent trout and then start hopping around some more and see what I can bring up. Looking towards day two and conditions should continue to improve. Stay with us. Coming up, we'll get right into second day coverage from Grand Isle, Louisiana at the 2018 IFA Kayak Tour Championship presented by Hobie. Before Mercury introduced our newest engine, we tried 3,286 ways to destroy it. And now that it's passed our tests, it's ready for yours. Introducing the all-new Mercury V6 four-strokes. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Power Pole Shallow Water Anchor System. Swift, silent, secure. By Penn Reels, let the battle begin and by Hobie Kayaks. Welcome back to Grand Isle, Louisiana and Bridgeside Marina. This is the final day of the 2018 IFA Kayak Tour Championship presented by Hobie. We've got 37 anglers gearing up and every one of them is chasing the day one leader. Uh, we had a tough day trout fishing yesterday morning, but we were able to find one good fish each. Uh, that's my goal this morning, to rush out and hopefully get on a quality trout and go spend as much time in the past as I can to get, um, you know, I need a 45, I need a 45 and a 20. That's my goal today, 65 inches, so I can take the win, back-to-back -back angler of the year, Louisiana division angler of the year, and get me an invite to Hobie Worlds. Lofty goals today. <laughs> so. We'll let Matthew get out and into position. We'll catch up with him in a bit. For now, we'll pick things up with Panama City's Trent Stickey. Trent is tied for second with three-time kayak tour champion Benton Perry. So I started the day off with a bunch of people launching the same place. Um, I got second place right now, 60 inches. Um, Tied with, I think, three other people pretty much that, that also have 60 inches. Uh, we're all within striking distance of each other. Not the trout I'm after, but. little yeah I think he was 21 right on the line usually the trout bites a lot hotter but I guess from what I've heard from the locals is like this cold fronts haven't come through so trout aren't really thick where they normally are pre-fishing I found a good a good hole of them and then they weren't there today so that was kind of unnerving but stay down stay down That's the one. That is the one. No! That one was 19 all day. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. That's how it goes. Oh, that was such a good fish. I was trying to play it real light and just hook popped right out of the corner of the mouth and away she swam. And then I finally ended up getting like a 12 and a half inch or 12 and a quarter inch trout. And that was, uh, that was it for the trout. So that's gonna set me back pretty far. Well, Trent regroups, we'll catch up with Matthew Van. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. 
During a modified bass lure, Matthew has already caught one trout at close to 19 inches. He's hoping for a fish measuring 20 or better before he can head to deep water and start chasing big reds. Somebody get so excited over a little 20 inch trout. Oh my god. Please. That's the fish I that's the fish I came here for. Oh my god. Come on, come over here. Oh, that's gotta be 20. Oh, thank you, Lord. That is a solid fish. That fish has got some shoulders on it. Oh, that lure is just barely that lure. Look at this. Look at that lure right there. Barely. Barely. Look at that thing. Oh. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mm. Oh, that fish might be over 20. Well, if Matthew gets his catch documented, we'll head to break. Coming up with the morning bike done, we'll go deep and give you a look at some of the amazing fishing to be had here in southern Louisiana. Stay with us. We'll be right back with the final moments from Grand Isle of the 2018 IFA Kayak Tour Championship presented by Cabela's. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. The IFA Redfish Tour is presented to you by Bass Pro and Cabela's. The adventure starts here. Hummingbird, clearer, wider, brighter, faster. By Minn Kota Trolling Motors, anywhere, anytime. And by Berkeley Gulf. It's day two, I've just gotten down to the pass setting up to go after bulls. Um, tied for second place on day one. And I did the same plan I did yesterday. I started off in the marsh, trying to get a uh, decent trout. And this morning was really tough again. The trout bite here has not been what we want it to be. Uh, kept working on it. Finally got a decent trout. Got one at uh, around 19 inches. So that's a, uh, that's a good trout for this area, for this tournament right now. I mean, it could be bigger, but that's a lot better than I was sitting at this point yesterday. Um, I'm about to go out here. Everybody's going to be staged up. There was so many over 40 reds called. I think it was 14. So everybody's just a few inches away from everybody. Uh, hopefully we can get out there and pull it off and see where we fall today. Making the short run out, Benton joined the crowd gathered on one of the main passes. Yeah, I'm marking a big school. Come to Papa. That's how we do it, boys. It might be. Oh, it, it was incredible. It was like, we're like, someone just calls it out. They're like, oh, I got them underneath me. They, they hook up and then three people flop their lures right behind their, their the dude's kayak and they hook up and it, it was it was a mess. Epic, epic redfish bite. Best we've ever had. You know, six, seven, ten guys hooked up at once. Oh, there's a Christmas tree under me. Oh, Lord. Come on, baby, let me get you off. That was mayhem. 
Um, I mean, out of the probably, I would say, 30 kayaks out there, uh, five to 10 people were consecutively hooked up at all times. I mean, you could look around and it was, he was netting one, he was measuring one, four guys were hooked up. That one was trying to get one in the net. It was just, I mean, I, I only spent a few hours out there and got like 15 of them, 16 of them. And I know people that were out there a couple hours longer that got 25 or 30 bulls a piece. So out of the 30 kayaks, I, it would have to be three, 400 bulls at least. Pretty fish today. Good fish. It's fantastic to go out there and see the guys from North Carolina, South Carolina, and Florida, and people that have never experienced it before to go out there and very quickly learn how to get on top of these big bull reds that we have over here. Checking back with go Florida's there, Bet and the Parrot, he's won three of these, and he started the day tied to second. No, oh, come on. He's already landed one red documented at 39 inches. This one will improve his total. Yeah, uh, it gave me an extra inch, and actually, he's right at 41, so a couple extra inches to get him back in the water. I don't like keeping him out too long, but uh, I mean, there are bigger ones out here. We've caught right at 45 and bigger out here, so, but it's a good one. Revive him a little bit. That'll put me... Uh, That'll put me right over 60 inches. So that's got me 120 for two days, which is a, uh, usually that's enough to win it for you, but this year there's so much good competition. I don't know. Back at Bridgeside Marina, tournament director Keith Green makes right, a call. Guys, we're down to the final one. Uh, Mr. Benton Parrott, come on down and congratulations. Great job getting a check today for, well, $3,249. Got the Angler's Advantage, $420 also. Got that Hobie kayak right there. The first time I won it out in 2012, I was ecstatic. I could not believe I actually won a championship. Uh, 2014, I won again. And uh, just, I was like, wow, twice. I can't believe it. The next year, won it back to back. And this year, I was like, you know, as long as I can stay in the top five, and I've stayed in the top five every year, I've been real happy with it. And today, just, I'm still in shock, so this is great. Winning his fourth championship, Benton Parrott will take home a Hobie Pro Angler 14 and a handful of cash. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10. For the complete list of standings, look us up at ifatours.com. And finally, for the second year in a row, the prestigious Angler of the Year Award goes yeah, to baby. Matthew Van. Great, great job. That's, that's pretty big for me. You know, when I won it last year, I had been shooting for it for five years. And um, it's kind of like, even though you're not getting, it's not the biggest payout goal, it's definitely the most coveted award amongst us anglers on this tour. And, and it's the hardest to get, you know. It shows that you're the most consistent angler throughout the year, especially this season with the new format, running it through the championship. You know, not only do you have to have really good divisional finishes, but you also have to come and perform you know, with all the best sticks here, with the best bite, the best fall bite, tons of quality fish around, you know. And, and so for me, get winning it back to back, there's only, I, I know, one other person that's done that. And, you know, it'd be huge. And that'll do it from Grand Isle, Louisiana, and the 2018 season of the IFA Kayak Tour. If you'd like to join us for the 2019 season, the schedule is out. Look us up at ifatours.com. We'd love to see you on the water. The IFA Kayak Tour presented by Hobie is a Careco TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This is my spot. Right here. My thinking spot. My fishing spot. My spot, not yours. This is where I go. For release. And for catch and release. Where no one can find me. And fish can't hide from me. This is my spot. And I ain't going nowhere.